Here's another teacher tip with Mr. Long, and we're going to look at, at how you can draw on a web page. Let's say you want to bring up a web page in the middle of a lesson, and you want to highlight certain parts of the web page or, or cut parts out or like block it so that you can't see it. Um, so for that, we're going to be using a thing called extensions or add-ons. These are little apps, like similar to how you would get to your phone. They, these are apps that you add to your browser. Now, I'm going to be dealing with Microsoft Edge and the app that I use for that. So I'm in Microsoft Edge now, so I'm going to go search for Microsoft Edge add-ons. So that's what you can search for. So you search for that, and that should bring up a whole bunch of options for you. I've already done the search, so something like this. They talk about what extensions are, and there is a place where you can search for other extensions or, or types of apps that you can install into your browser. Some of them you have to pay for, some of them are free. And if I go all the way down, you'll see there's Microsoft Edge add-on. So if you click on that, you'll be brought to some page like this. Okay, so now you can search on different types of apps that you can add or with these add-ons that add value to your browser. So I'm going to be searching for Web Paint. So that's the what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for Web Paint. So I'm going to search for that. So yeah, are the results of the Web Paint. There's a whole bunch of options. You can go around and look at play around and go research them and see which ones you want to use. Maybe you can find one that's you've got all the tools that you particularly want. I like this one, this one over here called Web Paint. You can see what it looks like. That's the one I like. Um, that's the one I like to use. So I'm going to click on this Get button so that I can install it into my browser. So I'm going to do that so long. Okay, so it's going to start busy checking. And it asks you if you want to add the extension. I say, yes, please, please add the extension. And now we wait. It'll do some sort of downloading part. Just a warning, when you are using extensions, just be sure that you are aware of what um, what rights you are giving the add-on or the extension. Sometimes they need access to certain parts of your browser. Make sure that you are happy with what you are allowing them to do. So just be careful of that. It's good to research these different add-ons just to make sure that they are legit. Um, so it's been added. So at the top there, you'll see this little thing has appeared, Web Paint. Now, if you ever want to go see your extensions, all you have to do is come over here to Extensions. On the over there, you can go see all the different extensions. You can manage them if you want. And over here, under the Manage section, you can disable it or remove it if you so wish. So this means it's just disabled. It won't appear there. And there, it means it'll be in my toolbar over there. So let's go back to where it was, we were over here, and it's added, which is great. So that's what it looks like over there. So if I go to a page, like let's say I want to do a lesson on ant lions. I don't know if you know what an ant lion is. So yeah, we got a page on ant lions, and I'm doing a lesson, and I want to draw or just highlight certain things on this page. I can now click on my web paint tool or add-on that I've got, and then this bar will appear with all these lovely options. Now, the most commonly used option is the pencil. Now, you will use the color, so this will determine what color pencil you want. So let's say I want to use red, so I go down to the red side, and you can pick which type of color you want. And then the size of the pen will be dependent on how thick the pen is by using the size. So there we go. So now if I draw, say, hey, yes. And lines, and we want to highlight that. So you can do stuff like that with the pen, and you can change your color to something else. Maybe you want to go to yellow, and then you can draw in yellow, and so on. So that's lovely little things you can do. If there's a particular color on the page that you like, like I like that color, you can use this to go and try to guess what that color is. You can add text if you want. If I type here, I can actually type this. Oh, this is a demo um, so you can add text you can draw little arrows on your screen as well to go we're looking at that particular part there so lovely little options there you can draw little curves if you want um, so you can make little curves if you want you can draw shapes all that so you can use all these tools what I also like to do sometimes if I'm looking at a particular picture and I want to hide everything else I will then go and I say okay we're going to I don't want them to see that yet so I'm going to put a block around it and then, actually, I'm going to use a different color block. Let's use blue. And then I'm going to make the block around here. There we go. I'm going to put a blue or purple block there. There we go. That's better. And then I'm going to fill in this block so you can't see what's in there. And then later on, I can always undo so we can reveal it. Or if you, those are your undo and redo button, or I can use the eraser and just go start erasing go and reveal our ant line. And there we go. 
So you can do little things like that. It's just quite nifty when you've got a little lesson going. So that you can draw little shapes. And if you are done with the, the with everything and you actually want to take a screenshot of all the, the drawings and the notes that you've written on this web page, you can take a screenshot of the current web page with that drawing. So you can click on it and it'll ask you to save it somewhere. So there we go. It's got a nice little save. It's actually saved all that little particular part. And then you can save that as an image somewhere if you want. So that's a nice little tool that you can do there as well. So um, this button over here, this allows you to um, minimize the control panel while you are still doing the drawing. So if I click, so if you want to do stuff over here, so I'm still drawing and I can use that to almost minimize. I can still carry on drawing and then just click back there to go bring it back. And then if I want to get rid of everything, we can obviously clear everything. And then if we want to close the app, I can just click on that to quit. So that's a nice little app that you can use. Um, it's called Web Paint. You can go to your Microsoft uh, Edge add-ons in, in Microsoft Edge to go add it. If you prefer to use Google, maybe you prefer to use Google Chrome, um, Google Chrome also has extensions that you can use. So if you go to Google Chrome, uh, store, the Google Chrome store, you can go and search for Web Paint and there's a whole bunch of similar products that you can use for yours. Um, so you play around with them, see which one you like, and then they can obviously add value to your lessons when you are looking at a web page. It'll do something very similar where you can add an extension. It'll be at the top there and then you can use that in Google Chrome. So that's how you can draw on a web page. You can support the channel in two ways, by subscribing and by sharing this with your fellow teacher friends so that we can help them as well. Please leave a like, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.